All right, it's still Friday. I'm on my way to the next service call. The guy's got a pool heater. It's not heating. I love pool heaters. They're like miniature large boilers. You know, you get this 400,000 BTU like Jandy heater and it's like cranking out 400,000 BTUs. Gross, of course. But it's all in this tight little box. I love them. And, you know, there's only so many things that can go wrong with them. So, but I love them. All right, it's over in Manhasset, which is uh, the North Shore. They call it the Gold Coast. So, I think you'll enjoy it. Let's see what's going on. Follow the yellow brick road. Looks like we're in here. Oh, they don't make this easy. <laughs> oh, she's not balanced. All right, looks like we've got a salt cell there. Remote thermostat enabled. Let's go to the control. I should really cut back these bushes. Uh, which one is heater? Waterfall has interlock with cover. I wish my shear descent wall had an interlock with cover. Filter, spa. Waterfall, air bubbler. Maybe that says pool heater? No. Pro mid Midgley? <laughs> All right, it has an interlock, but it's in service mode right now. Interesting, so let's, this is spa, water filter. So it should come on. Let's see. All right, I went to the Aqualink control, and I went from service to auto. Let's go to pool heater, let's go to on, 88, good. Select, now it should get a signal to fire up. Let's see what it does. It says hot for a reason, it gets hot. There's a hot service igniter. I'm gonna stand off to the side because she said it was it burning, it went on fire. Let's get that ready. Gas valve's in the on position. Wait for that click. Yes. Control module, igniter, and the flame sensor. Yes. Okay, that's what was changed last week. Yes. Okay. And it they, they and they said it, it claimed it worked. It said it said the error that was coming up was fault ignition control. Fault ignition control. So yeah. So normally when you have that. If there's something wrong with the igniter, you'll change that, or it doesn't read the right amount of, you know, measurement when you measure it. Uh, but normally it's the ignition control module, um, but they also change the control board as well, right? Control, control board, board, igniter, igniter and, flame sensor. and flame sensor. All right, all right. Let me see what's going on. It's no problem. Um, where is the? Where's your gas? Um, your gas meter. I didn't notice it. I didn't really look for it. Is it? I'll find. Don't worry about it. No, I can no, no, I'll find it. Don't worry about it. First, I want to crack open this unit, get my tools, and see if we have any uh, any gas there. Yeah, it's just giving me the error for you know, no flame detection. Anyway, one of the first things I'm going to check for is to see if I have gas here. Again, I could test there for gas pressure, but if I crack the union, open the valve, let's make sure we have gas first. Let's see what we got. 
Yeah, I got gas there. We're good. We put this back together and leaf test it with uh, <laughs> the electronic leaf detector. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna check out the gas valve. All right, check ignition control. We are gonna turn off the pool heater now. Good. Now I'm gonna turn it back on. Let me just error this thing out. Good. Back to pool. I should say remote thermostat enabled. Good. Now it's already on. Shortly, our hot service igniter should come on again. And wait for it. Before we even got the tools, there's a hot service igniter coming on. Before we even got the tools, we heard, we saw this, right? And then we saw, we heard the click of the gas valve. Wait for it. click I don't know if you smack on it a little bit like that see that so we had some gas flowing this time we have the defective gas valve easy peasy but one more thing I want to test we're gonna just do a voltage check make sure we have 24 volts where we need to have and real quick that we're not gonna hear a click this time but I want to see 24 volts I'm definitely getting voltage because I'm hearing that solenoid open inside the valve there it is so we're getting proper voltage we have a defective gas valve oh I already know I'm gonna be pissing somebody off I'm gonna be pissing someone off in the future, by the way. I go to my truck to uh, get the new valve. Right, make sure your arrow's the right way. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't see any pipe though. It's like no, none of it's there. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was like, I can't use Teflon. And then I saw a leak lock. So I'm gonna use that instead. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. All right, let's turn our pump heater back on Got ignition soon hopefully nice little the uh, palm pilot the jandy's pda i got the one in white i guess mine is a little bit newer so the pool heater is on and if we have ignition i'm gonna quickly turn everything off and take everything off and then Check for leaks. Let's see what happens. There's the valve. We have to still have to check for pressure. Make sure our pressures are normal. Using a manometer. I just want to see if she fires up. That's me, Mikey Pipes. Raw, uncut, unedited. I guess I'm gonna witness for the first time whether this works or not. <laughs> There's ignition. See that? See that, guys? We have ignition. And then it should shut off. She shut off. Why does she shut off? The leader's on. See, maybe our flame rod, which is there. Maybe there's an issue with that. Maybe it's dirty, but they just said they replaced the flame rod. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Just, that's the flame sensor right there. Let me take that off right there. It doesn't go there. All right. Igniter flame sensor, see? That's 120 L1, L2, ignition flame sensor. That's 
that's gotta go there. See that? This black wire goes here. There's my igniter. There's my flame flame sensor right there. They didn't put the flame sensor on the right spot. Plus it wasn't really opening anyway. Saw that. So it wasn't wired right and defective gas valve. And they're gonna be hating on me. Oh shit, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna start burning up everything. Vito's gonna burn down to the ground. No bueno, no bueno. Let's clean up everything and say goodbye. So hold on one second. All right, move this out of the way. So when I first got here, um, you had mentioned that they told you things burnt down. Yeah. But there's no evidence of that whatsoever. Okay. Um, the only thing that I did verify was a wire. It wasn't where it should be. Uh, and also the, the gas valve was getting power and it clicked open, but the gas wasn't flowing through it. And why was that? A defective gas valve. Oh, so you replaced the gas valve? Yes. I put a brand new gas valve in for testing and I just want to see if it comes on now. So again, it's still too premature, but it appears that that's the only issue. So, oh, okay, so now you, are you able to test it to see if it really works? Yeah, we're going to see. This, again, I just... I know, but the last guy told me it was working before he left. You know what I'm saying? My well, he, he and, didn't... And then it didn't work. He didn't put a wire where it needed to be anyway, so that shows the level of skill that he has, but it should have, hear it fire up right now. I just heard the click. Okay. Can you call me when you're... Cause I, I have to go. Yeah, it should my, be done in a couple minutes. Home, yeah, okay, no problem. Can you call me and just let me know okay. that it's working? Yep. Do you mind? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. What was your name? Mike. Mike. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. What's that? No, I'm gonna need a credit card or a check. Okay, so I'll tell my, uh, okay. my husband. Okay, no problem. Yes, you can. You can do that too. I prefer plastic. Some people prefer paper. But she's running. Let's see. All of the burners are burning. All of them. One of the common pro, uh, common service and maintenance issues I see with pool heaters is that you get cobwebs or like little moth balls that like to grow right in the orifice, which is right in there. And I just take a piece of wire and I shove it in there. And since they were talking about something burning down, I just want to keep my hand around here, make sure there's no excessive heat where it shouldn't be. Again, we have a rollout switch right there. It's a thermo disc. So this once this reaches a certain temperature, it burns out and it, you have to replace it. I see a lot of uh, rollout issues with um, ray packs. You know, it actually says on the display, rollout switch open. Now, I'm also gonna advise them they need to clean this out, this machine. Look at this, all this, all that debris. So yeah, let me tell them that, about that and uh, get them uh, situated. They need to get new full maintenance on this thing. You can't have all this stuff in there. No, you can't have that in there. You know, get that stuff out of there. Fire hazard, you know? So not too long ago when I pulled up to the job, you know, I just walked to the backyard past this mess and uh, I wanted to check out the system and I got the lady on the phone. And she told me that you know the, the pool contractor said the thing burnt down. So I had taken out my credit card because the screws were not there and were still in the truck. So now that we're done with the job, I'll take the, uh, the credit card and, as my flat screwdriver. I've done that many times, as you can see. Bent up. <laughs> Multi-purpose piece of metal, you know? Multi-purpose. So she's up and running. She's heating. We're gonna walk over to one of the jets, the pool jets, the outlets, and make sure we have good circulation there. Again, I'm not a pool company, but I own a pool and Aqualink is a common uh, automated control system for pools. Uh, as you can see, we have an automatic valve, uh, uh, valve actuator there. Actually, no, this is not even an actuator. This is a regular valve. There's an actuator. Actuator, actuator and the Aqualink controls those actuators based on what mode it needs to be in. Got some carriers here. Your can hold? Sure is. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed the video.
you got anything out of it, um, let me know. Drop your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And as, of course, if it's your first time viewing the channel and you like this video and you like this video, like this kind of content, the best way to support me not only is to thumbs up the video and commenting, but also please make sure you subscribe. Really looking forward to growing the channel to the moon and beyond, like Doge going to the moon and beyond, which was just released yesterday on Coinbase. Let's go for a ride, buddies. Strap in tight to that Doge rocket going to the moon.